Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We're well, welcome to another session. This is uh, Andrew Shreve, and uh, we're looking here at the December 2011 teaching, which you find at andrewshreve.org under Partner Letters, December 2011. And the teaching, the name of the teaching is God's Gifts. And basically, uh, we were looking at uh, Christmas and the idea that you know God's gift to us is uh, is Jesus Christ. Okay, but but when Jesus comes. Um, there's a whole package of gifts that come with him, not just not just one gift. It's not just uh, Jesus, but with Jesus there comes many, many gifts. And uh, in this teaching I've looked at six different Greek words. I've given the definitions and the references that relate to those words. And so you might want to, you know, if you're a studying type, you might want to look at all these, spend some time and, and go into your Bible and look at all those references and... Uh, uh, see that, just be refreshed as, as to the gifts that God has given to you. I mean, I don't think we're going to go through them all here. It'll take take too long, probably take an hour or two to, to really go through all that. But uh, I'll just give a brief overview of it in this video and encourage you. But, you know, when you receive Jesus Christ, you see that uh, you're going to receive things like eternal life, righteousness or being right with God, uh, healing, physical healing, Baptism with the Holy Spirit, which, which then brings a lot of other gifts. When the baptism with the Spirit comes, you can then speak in tongues. You can operate in words of knowledge and wisdom and miracles and signs, wonders, all sorts of things. Come with that, with that baptism of the Holy Spirit, which is called the gift, the, it's called the gift of the Holy Spirit. The gift. Um, prosperity comes, uh, money, um, safety, uh, finance, uh, knowledge, wisdom, spiritual ability and miracles and, and more. So... You know, you've got to ask yourself, you know, as you study this teaching, uh, you've got to ask yourself, have you received all your gifts? Have you opened all your Christmas presents? And if you haven't, then, you know, everything in God comes through faith. So you're going to need to do some meditation. You're going to need to do, do a little bit of study. You're going to need to just focus yourself on these on the words of God and plant the seed of what God has given you in your heart. And over time, faith and revelation will come and you'll be able to receive those gifts. Okay, so... Basically, uh, there was uh, the first. There were six Greek words we looked at. The first word is called doria, which is a gra- gra- gratuity or a gift. And there's a, I won't go through all the references, but basically, eternal life is um, a gift to us through Jesus Christ. It's through faith in Christ. Uh, Jesus is uh, the living water. The living water is eternal life. Um, righteousness or justification, in other words, being made right right with God having your sins justified or having your sins taken away so you're now, you are now justified before God, that's a gift. Uh, it's not, you know, we don't, you don't stand before God in your own merits. You stand before God based on what Jesus Christ has done for you. It's a gift. Okay? The baptism with the Holy Spirit and speaking in tongues is a gift. This is a gift for believers, not for unbelievers. And there's a lot of references there. Finance um, is also a gift. In other words, when money can come uh, to you, it's, it's, it's a gift from God. Even though it comes through men, it's a gift from God. The fivefold ministry gifts, uh, they're, they're a gift. And uh, they, are, they receive a gift. The fivefold ministry gifts are to benefit all the body of Christ, but the office of the gift is only borne by those whom the Lord chooses. So the Lord chooses certain people and gives them a gift. And then that gift is then to be given to the body. But you cannot appoint yourself to be an apostle, prophet, teacher, evangelist, or pastor. A lot of people do, but <laughs> they shouldn't. Uh, only the Lord can appoint and gift you. And those people that appoint themselves, they're not, they don't have the anointing or the, the ability because they don't have the grace, because it's a gift from God. Okay, the second Greek word is the Greek word doron, and this is a present, a sacrifice, gift, or offering. Okay, And so we see here that the Greek word doron uh, has to do with uh, eternal and temporal salvation. So healing, prosperity, safety, preservation and wholeness as well as our eternal life. And we also see that it's in the context of Jesus was a sacrifice for our sins. And so the term gift is used or doron is used in the, the idea of a sacrifice. So Jesus was a sacrifice for us in that he offered his blood for our sin. And so that's the gift that was given was Jesus' blood, if you like. The next Greek word is, is doma, 
which is defined as a present or a gift. And we see this in the context of uh, financial and material things that were given uh, to the Apostle Paul, uh, that this is seen as, as, a, as a present or gift from God. Um, wisdom, uh, in the book of James, wisdom is seen as a present or a gift. And also the fivefold ministry gift in Ephesians uh, is seen as a present or a gift. Then we have the Greek word charisma, which means uh, a divine gratuity, spiritual endowment, miraculous faculty, or free gift. And so we see that eternal life is a uh, free gift. It's um, a spiritual endowment. Um, Then also spiritual gifts. Um, So there are various spiritual gifts. Um, The spiritual gifts in 1 Corinthians 12 are given as the Holy Spirit wills for a specific moment of ministry and are not the permanent gifts of the person operating the gift. So in other words, uh, let's say you operate in the gift of prophecy or gift of healing. That's not a permanent gift. That's just given to you in a moment of time. And then um, you use that gift uh, for that moment, but then you've got to get the gift again to, to operate another time. It's not like you get it, keep it forever. Some people prophesy a lot. I think they've got the gift of prophecy. It's not, not accurate. Um, but there are other gifts, other spiritual gifts that are given. Okay, so there's a couple of references here, like um, uh, let's look at Romans chapter 1 and verse 11. Actually, I'll use the, the E swords better. Romans chapter 1 and verse 11. It says, uh, For I long to see you that I may impart unto you some spiritual gift, some spiritual charisma, to the end that you might be established. And so there was an impartation of some spiritual gift that Paul could give to the to the believers. First Peter chapter four verse ten. First Peter chapter four and verse ten. As every man hath received the gift, minister the same one to another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. So we all have different gifts, spiritual gifts that are given to us and we're to give those gifts out to minister to others. And so there's spiritual gifts that are given. Then there's knowledge that is given, uh, charisma, knowledge. So 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 4, 1 Corinthians chapter 4, and verse, uh, oh sorry, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 4 to 5. 1 Corinthians 1, 4 to 5. I thank my God always on your behalf for the grace of God which is given unto you by Jesus Christ, that in everything you are enriched by Him in all utterance and all knowledge. And verse 7 says, So that you come behind in no gift or no charisma, waiting for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. So the grace of God is just like a spiritual endowment, if you like. So you come behind in no, in no gift, in no charisma. And then also uh, fivefold ministry gift, um, you know, is seen as a charisma, a spiritual endowment that's given. Then we have the Greek word charis, which means graciousness, divine influence upon the heart and its reflection in this life, a benefit, favor, gift or liberality, charis. And so finance uh, is seen in this context when when we see that... um, the offering they, they brought in Second Corinthians chapter 8 and 9, this, this is seen as charis. It's seen as a divine influence upon the heart that moves people to give financially. And then the last Greek word we look at is a merimos, which means a separation or distribution gift. And so this one refers to signs, wonders and miracles. Signs, wonders and miracles are as the Holy Spirit wills. And so sign, wonders and miracles are seen as gifts by God. And so we see here that the term, the word gift in English has uh, six different Greek words. And these Greek words cover uh, a variety of, um, of, of areas, you know, in our lives, like eternal life, righteousness, the baptism with the Holy Spirit and speaking in tongues, financial, fivefold ministry gifts, offices, um, our temporal salvation, our healing, our prosperity, our safety the sacrifice for our sins, uh, material things, wisdom, um, eternal life, the operation of spiritual gifts, 
knowledge, um, finance, um, signs, wonders and miracles. All these things are gifts from God. And so, you know, uh, we, 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 we realise there's a richness, isn't there, that, that in the kingdom of God. There's a lot of gifts that we can receive. There's a lot of spiritual endowments that we can receive to touch every aspect of our life. And so as we walk with the Holy Spirit, as we meditate His Word, as we meditate the scriptures that, that are in this teaching, go to the website and, and look at the teaching. And you probably, uh, you will, you will. If you meditate, you, you will receive more of these gifts from God. And you'll be more appreciative of all that God has given to us. God has not left us uh, with need and lack. There's everything we need in life is, is available to us if we're aware of it and if we know how to be led by His Spirit to tap into it. So let's just pray with me. Dear Father God, thank you for sending your Son Jesus Christ to give us so many gifts. When we study your Word and see the extensive list of gifts available to us, we can see your great and detailed love for us. Thank you so much, our, my precious Lord. I love you with all my heart, soul, mind and strength. In Jesus Christ's name. Hallelujah. Let me just pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, let your anointing come upon the listeners, Lord, and that they will be aware of the depth of your love and the depth of the gifts that are available to them. And so when they know that they receive Jesus Christ, they know they receive a big package uh, of many, many things, both eternally and both physically and spiritually and soulishly in this world. So bless them, I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.